Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you the new features we added uh, on CMAM 3.6. This version uh, is a major release. It's uh, not backward compatible with 3.5 and uh, it's released today. It was uh, a long awaited version. So let's, uh, I will go through all of the new features we added and we will do some uh, MetaTrader 5 to CTrader mirroring. So let's see what's new uh, in trading, uh, trading accounts. As you can see, I already added several trading accounts here and uh, there is nothing new here. Uh, and only thing which is uh, new here is the uh, two different types of adding accounts. Uh, in previous versions, you, uh, you can only uh, add accounts uh, directly from inside CTrader. CMAM. Right now, uh, you can also use the without code method to add tra uh, tr your CTrader trading accounts to CMAM. This is, uh, it, it uses a, a new method uh, uh, instead of uh, using the embedded uh, browser inside CMAM, it gives you an authentication URL that you can use uh, to get the uh, um, the, to uh, get an authentication code from Open API, and once you got the Open API, you will uh, enter it here and click Add Accounts. Then the ad ad account adding process will begin. So if you configured your uh, Open API uh, here, you will see the authentication URL. Uh, this method is good for if you have clients that, that uh, they don't want to share you, uh, their uh, CID credentials like their username and password with you. So what you have to do is just give them this authentication URL. They will do the authentication process inside your web browser and they will give you back an authentication code. Once you got the authentication code, you have to enter it here and click add accounts. One of the problem with this method is uh, that the authentication code has an expiry time of one minute. So you have to do all of the, uh, the once the authentication code is generated, uh, you have to enter it here and use it. Otherwise, after one minute, it will get invalidated and it will be useless. So you must uh, do it very fast. After authentication, you have to get the authentication uh, code as soon as possible and enter it here. So this is a, a good new feature the, that makes adding account a little bit easier if you have clients, uh, but for your own accounts, you can use the mm, old uh, direct method, which is uh, which uses embedded browser inside SEMA. And inside the accounts, we also added uh, a new uh, column it's alias you can set an alias for each account it will help you differentiate uh, our uh, accounts uh, so it was a user request so if you go here as you can see the alias uh, is here you can set anything you want something like this and click save it's saved now if i go back to the accounts you see the alias is here uh, also, this alias appear in uh, slave account selection while you want to create mirroring prof profile. So it's, it can be really useful if you want to use it to differentiate an account from others. So let's go now to the mirroring profiles. Here, you, as you can see, I don't have any mirroring profile right now, but if I click the create new profile, you see there are now two more options. Uh, we pre In previous versions, we only had CTRader to CTRader, CTRader to MetaTrader 4, and MetaTrader 4 to CTRader. Now there is two new options, CTRader to MetaTrader 5, and MetaTrader 5 to CTRader. So in this version, we added the uh, CTrader to mirroring uh, to MetaTrader 5 and MetaTrader 5 to CTrader mirroring. If I click here, let's create a mirroring profile for MetaTrader 5. The process is very sim uh, similar uh, to creating a MetaTrader 4 mirroring profile. If you have used the, that in older versions, you have to set, give it a name, run your MetaTrader 5 terminal. I have here, I think, yeah, this is the MetaTrader 5 terminal. Uh, as you can see, I already attached the CMAM master EA. The uh, CMAM EAs will be installed automatically on all of your system installed MetaTrader 4 and 5 terminals. So you don't have to do it manually, but if there was anything wrong, you can do it from here. 
in install MetaTrader ES or from here in go to settings MetaTrader ES installer if you go here you can click on install button and it will install the ES automatically for you on all your uh, uh, MetaTrader terminals if something went wrong you can do it manually by yourself click here it will open the ES folder you can copy the EA files and paste it on the MetaTrader terminal uh, data directory so let's go to the create mirroring profile mm -hmm. okay first thing is the profile name I will give it something like a the second thing is the port field it is the port that will be used for communicating with the EA I will see if what okay the uh, I use the default port 12000 on my master EA in CMAM, uh, uh, in uh, MetaTrader 5 so I will leave it leave the default value here if I click the load samples from master EA CMAM will connect to the uh, to MetaTrader 5 terminal and will get all the samples data of the master account and show it here let's see if it will work or not if it didn't work it means that something is wrong with the port Okay, as you can see, it worked instantly, and I have all of the master account samples here. I will select all of them for following. You can click here to create a mapping file, a sample mapping file, and then later use it for your slave accounts. Here, you see all of my uh, slave accounts, see, uh, all of them are C-Trader accounts. Uh, most of the new features are added for slave accounts, so let me show you first. As you can see, uh, alias is there. Now let's see some other stuff. Now we have volume type. In previous version, we only had volume multiplier, but now we have uh, three different methods for managing volume. We have multiplier, which was the default uh, old uh, method. We also have now auto risk balance and fixed lots. F uh, we also have auto risk uh, equity for um, MetaTrader slave accounts. If you use CTrader to MetaTrader mirroring profiles, there will be another option, auto risk equity. For CTrader slave accounts, right now we don't have that option. Uh, we will add it uh, on future uh, versions. So I will, if you select auto risk balance, uh, we have uh, written the formula of this method on our CMAM documentation. You can find it there. It uses both uh, master account and slave account, uh, account size or balance in year uh, and uh, the master account order size and uh, to ca calculate the slave account order size. You can set the mm, amount here. You can say something like four or anything you want to. Sample mapping is same like old version. We also added this trade site. You can set uh, if you want to follow both buy, sell, or just buy or just sell. This is the two new futures. Uh, most uh, it was the most asked uh, features. Most of our users asked this to add uh, syncing uh, functionality. If you uh, turn on the sync open orders and if you start the mirroring, mirroring profile, CMAM will automatically copy all the existing orders on master account to slave accounts. If it was not selected, then it will not copy the existing orders. Regard and the sync closed orders, if you turn on this option, it will. Uh, if uh, the, the the mirroring profile was stopped for some time and you add some open trades on master account and slave accounts and you closed some of the trades on uh, master account if you enable this op this option and start the mirroring profile the cmam will uh, automatically close the closed orders of master account so it will keep the two slave and master in sync also, there is another new option, ignore new trades. If you don't want to copy new master account trades and just want to keep managing the old uh, open trades, then you can turn on this option. What it does is it will not create new orders. It will just uh, manage the existing orders on slave account. And if master account close an order, it will close it, but it will not open new orders. There is another new field description. You can provide uh, extra de uh, description for mirroring profile. It will appear on the profiles list. Later, I will uh, show you. Now let's uh, select an account. I have here one. I will s search for Okta FX. Okay. This is the account I want to copy to. I will use um, auto risk balance to uh okay i will leave the other settings as they are 
I will also provide some ex some description here. I have selected all of the samples. Now let's create this. Okay, as you can see, the description came and uh, let's start this uh, mirroring profile. I my EA my SEMA master EA is running on my terminal, so I will start this. Okay, now it's running. Uh, we can do some mirroring. Let's do some mirroring, okay? What I'm doing right now is I'm copying from IC Markets MetaTrader 5 terminal to, to Okta FX C Trader account. Uh, fortunately, the sample names are matching, so there is no need for manual sample mapping. If the two brokers had different sample names, you can use the manual sample mapping option in uh, slave account and match the samples uh, manually by using a CSV file. Mm, okay. This is my OctaFX account. I will now I have both of them on uh, my screen. Let's execute some uh, trades. Okay, I will execute a zero point zero five lots of uh, uh, pound dollar. Okay, as you can see, the order is here pound USD. The this order. Mm, volume is 0 0.01 lots because the uh, in proportionate to master account this account has eight thousand uh, dollar balance and this account has almost one million dollar uh, balance so it's why the size of this uh, uh, trade is very small to in comparison to this so let's go and cr add another buy usd we have a buy USD here. You see the profile name on the order comment. Let's close them. Okay, I closed both of the orders. This is how it works. Uh, you can have uh, you can have as many uh, slave accounts as you want for your uh, master account, which is in this case is my MetaTrader Five uh, IC Markets account, and. Uh, so this was the new features we added on the mirroring uh, profiles. Okay, something went wrong. And also we added uh, in uh, older version, we, uh, we, uh, so we add the email notification, which, is, which was very slow and uh, it was also using our server resources. So in this version, we changed it to Telegram notification. The, it uses the Telegram bot API. It's much better than email notification because it's instant. You will receive the error instantly on your Telegram uh, channel or via conversation chat with the Telegram bot that you created. It's very easy to use if you come here uh, you just have to create a telegram bot via t bot folder in telegram S enter the bot token here uh, create a chat or conversation with the bot or add the bot on a channel and send something on the, that channel after that click on show chats it will show you the current chats here it will show only the recent chats select the chat you want to send the notification to from here once you select it select also the notification level click uh, save and you can also send the test message and you will see if it worked you will see that uh, you will get notified uh, whenever something went wrong in CMAM with your mirroring profiles and uh, that was it and the, this was the change we made on this version uh, also, we made lots of uh, back fixes. We increased uh, significantly the performance of CMAM. Now CMAM uh, uses much less memory, much less system resource, and uh, uh, lots of other improvements on the back end happened in this version. Uh, as I said at the beginning, this version is not backward compatible with 3.5. If you're using version 3.5, you have to first close your open uh, trades and then update otherwise CMAM will lose uh, the track of your open trades and you uh, uh, you will not be able to close uh, and keep the master and slave accounts in sync this video ends here if you have any question leave a comment or use our telegram and group to let us know what's your question or if you have any issue you can contact us
Bye.